Memphis has many phenomenal research organizations that, that have extremely high expectations. St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital and the American Cancer Society both have one goal in mind, finding a cure for cancer. Joining us now to talk about what their organizations are doing are Amy Beth Dudley from St. Jude and Sarah Bynum from the American Cancer Society. Well, ladies, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for, thank having, you for us. having us. Now, Miss Dudley, kind of tell me, what, what is St. Jude, what is, what's going on at St. Jude right now? What, what are their goals? Well, mm. it's, the, it's the main goal and has been from the very inception from Danny Thomas is that no child should die in the dawn of life. Mm -hmm. So we work every day, both with hands-on hospital care and patient treatment, but also with a tremendous research uh, program there at the hospital that protocols go out across the world, as a matter of fact, to treat, treat children with cancer. And our friends at the American Cancer Society donate millions upon millions of dollars to us to help, to help fund that, and, and others do as well. Mm -hmm. So so the American Cancer Society and Sage should work coincide. We, we are we're partners. We are partners in the fight to finish the fight against cancer. Right. So the American awesome. Cancer Society invests in cancer research grants designed to prevent cancer, find early detection methods, and treatment options for those who are facing cancer. Throughout the past several years, we've invested about $20 million in St. Jude research, and every year we invest about $160 million in research programs uh, across the country. So, it's fantastic. Yeah, I mean, it really is. You know, I've lost, I've lost a lot of you know family members and friends to the disease, and so yeah. we can't thank you enough for all you guys do. Yeah. And well, and we have too. I know that I lost my dad in September of 2011. So I'm September sorry. is always a hard time for me, but it's such a wonderful opportunity to raise our voices. We've learned that cancer is not going to quit if we're silent. So we really have to raise our voices and get uh, loud in the fight to end, uh, the fight to end cancer. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So now I know, um, I read actually on the American Cancer Society page that September is, um, it is... Childhood, childhood Cancer, cancer Awareness, awareness Month. month. Sorry, it is. Perfect. Yes, absolutely perfect. It is. But, so can you kind of explain what all is going to be going on in the month of September to help raise awareness? So, and, and, it's, and it's folks like everybody at St. Jude that really help um, us get our mission across. So cancer doesn't just affect older people. It, cancer affects everybody, no matter where you are in your life. And so um, September is such an important month for us to raise awareness about childhood cancers. As, um, as Amy Beth said, we should not lose children to this disease. We know too much now to, to lose anybody to cancer, especially our young, our young folks. So during the month of September, we'll see more, um, uh, more opportunities for families to raise more awareness with their children about eating right and exercising and understanding their family history and really um, taking control of their own health and the health of their children. Mm -hmm. And St. Jude is specifically looking for people, and this is a Facebook initiative and an online initiative, so it really it doesn't take a whole lot of time or effort, but for people to be ambassadors against childhood cancer. You can go online, you can register and say, I'm an ambassador. Raise your hand, raise your voice like yeah. Sarah said, and say, I'm going you know, to be an ambassador for this cause. Post it on Facebook. We have a tag that you can put on your on your profile picture that says I'm supporting this. So it's a really wow. quick and simple way that anybody can be involved with this. Is because there an age for that? Anyone. Anyone. Oh my anyone. gosh, we're going to have to go look oh. at that. Definitely. You have to do yeah. it. Oh, yeah, will. absolutely. Definitely. We have uh, banners for your profile and tags for your oh, picture wow. and all kinds of cool things that you can follow. You just go in and register and it's as simple as that. So oh my gosh, we're going to write that down. It's, That's on your Facebook? It's St. Jude. Absolutely. Wow. It's the St. Jude Facebook page. can direct you and tell you exactly what to do. Oh, fantastic. And is this just for this month or is this for I mean you can join any time of the year absolutely well certainly it is September and as you said it's childhood cancer mm -hmm. awareness month and everybody else knows that October is breast cancer awareness month and yeah. there are other months throughout the year there's always something going on that you can you can raise your voice about and, and mm -hmm. support and participate and I think the most important thing for people to do is to pick the cancer that has touched their lives the most and fight that cancer and I think if we can all come together to absolutely. fight the cancers that we that we hate um, yeah. We can make a world free of cancer. That's our goal. So um, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. I have on my pink breast cancer awareness shoes oh, today. Wow. Those are super groovy. cute. Those are so <laughs> nice. I know. So the American Cancer Society invests more in breast cancer research than any other um, organization. We invest th this year eighty-four million dollars in about two hundred grants to fight breast cancer specifically. It's one of our our main missions is to fight breast cancer and lung cancer, colon cancer and put an end to cancer in general. Our goal is to put ourselves out of business. That's right. Same with St. Jude. We would love to, we would love to eradicate cancer. One of our mm -hmm. goals is to, to be at a 90% cure weight within a decade. And we, we're, we won't quit until no child has cancer. We will not quit. That's, That's fantastic. fantastic. That, yeah. is, that is so great oh. to hear. <laughs> yeah. Because I think, you know, it's sometimes, it, it can get very, you know, very depressing. I've, I've actually, this last day, I lost one of my best friends, his, his long fight with cancer. Max Burdett, he right. he fought for a while, you know, he 
of course he fought the good fight. So kind of tell me, how has Memphis really adopted St. Jude and American mm-hmm. Cancer Society? I mean, obviously people think of St. Jude when they, when they look at Memphis, but how has, how has Memphis like, I guess, hugged themselves around these two great organizations? Memphis is an amazing community. They really do come out and support. We have so many events and people, I think we don't realize one, like you both said, we've all had friends and family that have been affected by this illness. That's one way. Love on your friends and family and support them if you know somebody that's going through this. Support them in that. Mm -hmm. But also through our fundraisers, it does take money to keep the hospital open. It takes money to conduct research Mm -hmm. that you guys are doing. So through all of our fundraisers, Memphis shows up in amazing, amazing numbers to support everything that we do so often. It's incredible to me what the Memphis community does for us. And so for the American Cancer Society, we see people every day come into our office and into our Harris Hope Lodge facility located on Union Avenue for um, for help, whether they need a wig because they've lost their hair to treatment or they need a place, a free place to stay while they're in Memphis for treatment. One of the best things about Memphis is our medical community. Mm-hmm. People from all over the country come to Memphis for, right. for treatment or for um, for doctor's appointments. And so we have the Harris Hope Lodge, which is a free place for those folks to stay. You're coming into Memphis for treatment. You and a caregiver can stay for free. Um, so for us, uh, Memphis is really the worst place to be diagnosed with breast cancer if you're if you're a woman, an African American woman. So we work every day to educate everybody in our community about the importance of self exams, going to the doctor, knowing your family history, mm-hmm. and really taking control of your health and educating the people we serve every day about the importance of their health. Wow, absolutely! Well, thank you both thank for coming you so on. Thank you so much. This thank was you. a wonderful conversation. And thank you for thank everything you, you thank do. You. Yeah, thank, thank you for having well, us. Well, thank y'all. Thank you. Thank I would you. like to thank both Amy Beth and Sarah Bynum for joining us today. If you'd like more information, you can visit stjude.org, and you can find the American Cancer Society at cancer.org.